This video is designed to teach about the key rules and tactics in special teams. Special teams makes up a third of the game of football and it can be a really good way for rookies to impress coaches and get some game time. However, special teams also wins or loses games and so it must be treated as important. If you could be a liability, you will not make it onto the field. This video covers kickoff, punting, onside kicks and extra points, covering the basic rules and the basic tactics. To start a game of football, one team will kick the ball to the other. The returning team will try and set up at lots of blocks, aiming to get a long return or even a touchdown. Players on the kicking team will have assignments to try and limit the chances of a big return. The first key rule of kickoff is that it is a live ball once it's travelled 10 yards. This means that either team can get the ball and get possession for their offence. And this means that if you're on the kicking team or the returning team and you see that ball, you must go for it. If you're on the front line for the return team, it's especially important that you remain vigilant just in case they try a short kick. In this clip, you can see that Oregon in yellow uh, had a deliberate tactic to try and kick the ball short, noticing that UCLA, the team in white, would drop back very quickly. This meant that one of their quick players, number two, could sprint down the sideline and grab the ball. A similar situation is shown here where the ball uh, bounced quite deep actually, but then took a horrible bounce and none of the Sheffield players were actually able to cover it. The second key rule is that the ball must remain in bounds. So if it goes off the side, the return team will get given the ball in pretty good field position. Punting the ball is very different to kickoff. Firstly, the ball is allowed to go out of bounds off the side of the pitch. The return team get the ball where it went off, and in some situations it's actually quite sensible to kick the ball out of bounds rather than kicking the ball to a very good returner. The main noticeable difference between kicking and punting is that once the ball is punted into the air, it is not live until someone on the return team touches it. This means that the return team don't even need to catch it if they don't want to, and the punting team can't get possession. In this clip you can see that the returner, in blue, never really got into a position to catch the ball. As soon as he touched the ball, it was live, and so the punt team, in white, went for it. The white team actually gained possession. It is clearly absolutely crucial that when we catch the ball, we catch it cleanly. And that if the ball is on the ground rolling around, people don't accidentally touch the ball or let it hit them. Otherwise, the ball becomes live. In this clip, watch the long snapper, in black, wearing the white helmet. Towards the end of the clip, you can see him letting the ball roll, improving field position as much as possible. If you're on the punting team, your main priority is to stop the returner from getting a good return. If the return team decide not to catch the ball, you need to get on the ball ASAP. Remember, wherever you touch the ball is where they'll get, where they'll get it. So if the ball is going away from you towards their goal line, let it roll. If the ball is rolling towards your end zone though, this is where you need to pick up the ball. Just remember, you want to make the punt as long as possible, so any extra yards you can get whilst it rolls are beneficial. In this clip, you'll see that the player in black should probably have left the ball. If he had left it, it could possibly have rolled for extra yards, making the punt longer. Things are a little bit more complicated for the return team, but they usually have three options. Normally a coach on the sideline will help make a decision and shout the decision. The first option is to catch the, the punt and try and return it. If you're going to catch it, you need to be certain that you can catch it cleanly. Running onto the ball at full pace is not a good idea. Make sure that you can get under the ball so you can track it. If you can't get to the ball or the punt coverage team are in your face, do not try and return it. You should only return it if you can A, catch the ball cleanly, and B, make some yards. The second option is to fair catch it. A fair catch means that the tacklers must let you catch it cleanly, but in exchange, you can't run with the ball once you've caught it. Fair catches are a really good idea if you can get into the position to catch it, but the tacklers are all around you and you wouldn't be able to return it. You signal a fair catch by waving whilst the ball is in the air. The third option is to deliberately leave the ball. 
If you do this, you must tell your teammates by shouting away. Remember, if the ball touches yourself or a teammate, the punting team can re recover it. If you do leave the ball, everyone must get as far away as possible. Leaving the ball is generally the best option when you're near your own goal line. Remember, if the ball bounces into the end zone, which it normally will, you get the ball on your own 20. If a team are losing by a few points, they may attempt an onside kick. Since a kickoff is live, if you kick it a short distance, your players can try to recover it, giving you a chance of scoring. An onside kick is not live until it's travelled 10 yards or it's been touched by one of the opposition players. In this clip, you can see that although the ball doesn't travel 10 yards, one of the players in black touches it, meaning someone in white is allowed to recover it. This gives the white team possession of the ball. When a team scores a touchdown, they get the chance to score more points. They can either choose to kick the ball for one point, or run another play, which gets them two points if they score. A useful thing to note is that if a kick is blocked, it is still a live ball, and it can be picked up by either team. In this clip, the team in black have had their kick blocked by the team in white, who have managed to return it. The lateral pass halfway through is quite risky, but because it's an extra point and so it doesn't affect the field position, it's worth doing.